Hello everyone and welcome to Yes Sky Gaming. My name is Garrett May. I'm a former professional beach volleyball player, indoor volleyball player, and volleyball coach. And today we're talking about spiking tips. I've collected a series of five tips to help you become a better volleyball spiker. So let's get to them. So the first tip is to reach high. When you go to swing to attack, you want to get every extra inch of height that you can when swinging through your attack. Often I see players hitting the ball around their ear or kind of bent elbow when they're swinging. I mean, timing plays a lot into this, but as much as possible, we want to be reaching and swinging through as high through the ball as we possibly can, giving us that extra height, getting us that much further over the net, and giving us far more options for attacking around the block, off the top of the block with that extra height. So reach high. The second tip is aim deep. This one's a pretty simple one, but often we mix this up. When you're attacking the ball, you wanna swing through deep, through the ball, aiming to the deep parts of the court. You have so much more space and so much more opportunity to keep the ball in and to score when aiming deep into the court. It also makes the block much less of a threat as they, it's harder to block a ball that's coming higher across the net deeper in the court than one going straight down. I know it's really fun to pound it down and to try to really bounce it. I'm a victim of this myself, but if you're trying to compete and improve your game, aim deep is the best way to go when trying to score. Tip number three is to, very simply, hit it hard. When we're attacking, we need to hit it hard to score. If we're giving over easy, soft roll shots, it makes it really easy for our opponents to dig it up and then attack it back at us. When you're reaching high, aiming deep, when you're doing those first two things, you can hit it nearly as hard as you possibly can to try to score and blow up your defenders and beat them with the attack. I mean, you need to have some pace in the sport of volleyball to score on your attack at any level, really. I mean, if you're at the very beginner, if you can get some pace, you're gonna have success. At the highest levels, you see these professional athletes, they are unleashing the ball as hard as they possibly can on most of their attacks. So hit it hard. Tip number four is to keep the ball in front of you. And this one is sometimes easier said than done, but the better job you can do of keeping everything in front of you, you'll have much better vision for your attack, but you'll also be able to much better time your attack and jump to get into the right position. This applies to both indoor and beach volleyball. You don't want to be coming into the attack too early. You want to see the ball in front of you at all times so you can time, reach high, and pick your right spot where you're going on the court. So in beach volleyball as well, this is you know, easier said than done as sometimes maybe you dig a short serve or maybe you're closer to the net. You gotta back up to keep that ball in front of you. Same thing indoors if you pass a short serve or if you dig a tip or something. Get off the net, get outside, get in position so that you can keep everything in front of you and you can attack as best you can. This applies to middle, right side, left side, beach, whatever. Try your best to keep the ball in front of you so you can see everything in front of you and you have all your options. And for the final tip I was going to say vary your shots, but I, I realized I had to retcon that and change it up because that's not exactly true. You want to go with what works. So this could mean a number of different things, but when we're playing volleyball and we're attacking, we're trying to score. So if you score on an attack, it's working. That is a successful attack. So there's no point in questioning what you're doing if it's working. So for example, for an indoor player playing left side, if you go up and you pound it, reach high, swing hard, deep, into cross every time and it scores, keep doing it until somebody starts to stop you. Just run that thing, you're getting points. That's your job, you're scoring, keep doing it. Having said that, if it is not working, how can you go with something that works when it's not working? You've got to change it up. So that same player, if they're attacking cross and they're getting blocked every time, well, maybe consider changing it up and aiming at line this time and trying to go down the line to score one. And if that works, yeah, keep hammering it until they switch. In very basic terms, volleyball is about scoring points. So if you're doing that, keep doing it until somebody makes you change. And when they make you change, make sure you do it. So those are my five tips for how to become a better volleyball attacker. There's some drills that you can implement to, to practice these. I mean, just hitting a volleyball against the wall outside or with a partner. You can practice reaching high, hitting deep, um, keeping the ball in front of you, hitting it hard. Um, you can do all those things on your own, with a partner, with your team, in practice all those things to practice these five things and you will notice a difference in your game changing and improving when you focus on 
these five things, even one at a time, um, can make a huge difference. But that'll do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Hit me up in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, if you have any suggestions, if you have any thoughts, if you disagree, let me know. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you next time on Hit Sky Gaming.